channel. Welcome to my journey of starting my YouTube channel. My introduction video, like I said, welcoming you guys to my channel. Um, this video is just mostly about, you know, who I am as a person, why I decided to make a YouTube channel, and kind of where I plan on going with this channel. I'm not sure when this video will be uploaded. Um, I'm currently looking into good programs to edit videos, but um, like I said, my name is Jamie. A little bit about myself. I live in the Central Florida region. Um, I am 27 years old. I have a fiance. I'm actually about to be married in nine days. I plan on actually having a ceremony and a reception and everything but it will not be happening until 2023 due to obviously financial stuff and you know we kind of view our wedding as just like a great thing to hang out with friends have a big party and just celebrate us being together as a couple so at that point we decided that we wanted to have more time and plan the wedding that we've always wanted based on like our vibe. Um, so my fiance's name is DJ, but we are getting married by the way, like I said, next week on the 17th on our eight year anniversary. So very exciting. We're going to legally be married, but then that's going to be a whole process of me having to legally, I am changing my name over to his last name. So I want to change everything from my driver's license, my bank stuff, my job. I have to get my RN license changed over to his name, which I don't know that process, but I'm going to figure it out. So I'll probably take you guys along that journey too of dealing with marriage as far as dealing with like the paper aspects of it, <laughs> um, of how to change your last names. Um, I'm going to take you guys along the process of planning a marriage. Sadly, didn't get to bring you along. I hadn't quite yet got the courage to start a YouTube channel then. We did go view a venue. It's been three weeks now that we, three? Yeah, about three or four weeks now that we went and viewed our wedding venue. And literally the first venue, we both fell in love. So we do have our venue picked. We do just have to email the people and put down the deposit and it's ours. And of course, as you guys can tell by some of the stuff in our room, like I have Nightmare Before Christmas quote there. I have a Nightmare Before Christmas like a uh, thing there of Jack Skellington. Um, we have the skeletons and it says, um, I believe it's French or Italian. Um, it just says lovers on the bottom of it. Um, we like dark aesthetic it's who we are as people so that's kind of another reason why i wanted to make this channel um i wanted to bring something a little different to the community as far as in i'm not your typical registered nurse um no offense to registered nurses out there but i feel like a lot of them are your stereotypical like <laughs> this is gonna sound really bad but like lululemon like jeep driving stereotypical girls hey don't hate my dad as a jeep wrangler but he did some mods to it that makes me appreciate it more <laughs> i just want to bring a different perspective to the community in what i offer as a nurse and as i am as a person you don't have to be stereotypical blonde Barbie or you know perfect straight hair registered nurse that is you know Miss Girly Girl because that is definitely not me I mean of course I do have my girly side but I mean I grew up pretty tomboyish and I do dive more now into makeup than I ever did before that type of thing but I'm still very not like your stereotypical girly girl so I want to bring to this channel being a registered nurse along with like a, I guess you would say goth aesthetic to it. Um, it's not just going to be all about nursing on this channel because that's not who I am completely. Like a nurse is not defining me. I mean, it's part of who I am, but it's not who I am completely. I'm going to take you along sometimes, you know, me and my fiance actually have a concert we want to go to in March. So excited. Um, it's, I don't know if any of my people, if anybody's even going to watch, but it's in St. Pete. It, um, 
Janu? Hey. What are you doing? My dog's eating something he shouldn't be. My puppy, shall I say. Be good. <laughs> He's just staring at me like, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, it's a Janu Live. So that's going to be a thing. Like, you guys, I'm going to take you along on the days that we go to concerts together. Um, with living in the Central Florida area, we're kind of an access to go to, like, multiple things. There's things always happening in this area. Um, we're very close to, like, the Orlando area. Like, driving to St. Pete, it's like a three-hour drive for us. So it's very doable to go to a concert there. It's just there's so many things for us to go do. And I want you all to come along with us. Um, my fiance already told me he's not super comfortable with being on camera. So you probably won't see much of him. Maybe as I go further along in my journey with YouTube, he'll kind of hop in with it. I'm still obviously not that comfortable with it as this is my first video. But I eventually want to get to the point where I'm like the rest of those YouTubers that literally have their camera out everywhere. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, obviously. But... So yeah, um, two, I'll show you guys like an apartment tour in one video. Um, we're very dark, we love Halloween, goth aesthetic, like you're gonna see it all. So that's what I wanna bring to this. And two, I'm not your typical nurse. So I did do my stint, I guess I'll kind of go into that next. I went to a local college here in the Central Florida area. I did my RN schooling for my AS degree, so the two-year degree. Um, I got that at um, a local community college here, and then I did the transition program. It was called Concurrent, where I was going for the same time for my bachelor's at a major university here in Central Florida. So I do have my bachelor's in nursing. Um, now, as far as like my jobs, I obviously started out with you know, just getting through school. I worked as a preschool teacher for a little bit. Ended up needing to change up the scheduling, so I went to PetSmart part-time. Um, it was more like full-time, but I was a part-time employee. Um, I did PetSmart for a while, and then I really wanted to get my foot in the door at a hospital. So through my nursing program, I had just started. It was my first semester. Um, you could actually apply to be um, a nursing assistant or a some people call them patient care techs. You could apply to be that after you finished your first semester of the nursing program I went to. So you didn't have to go through the schooling process to be a nursing assistant. So I ended up applying to a local hospital here in the Central Florida area and got hired on a, it was called a cardiac intervention unit. That's where I was a nursing assistant. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, I fell absolutely in love with cardiac and decided it was my niche, um, niche, niche, whatever you want to call it. It was my thing. And to this day, love cardiac and I think I always will. Um, but I was a nursing assistant there for two years while I went through all of schooling. Um, I'll kind of go more in depth about nursing school in a separate video. It's going to be a whole story, but I did struggle <laughs> a little bit through nursing school my first um, semester so like I said I'll make a whole video on that but look ma we made it um, <laughs> so I was a nursing assistant for about almost two years and then finally I wanted to work day shift on the unit that I was a nursing assistant I was promised a position by my manager at the time um, it came time uh, she told me I only had night shift options and that was not for me. I already knew I had worked overnights at PetSmart sometimes and just knew that being a night shift nurse was not going to be for me. So I ended up applying to a different unit as my first inpatient RN job and it was to the clinical or cardiac. We kind of were more cardiac at the time, the cardiac observation unit. And I ended up getting the position and it, thankfully it was the only position I applied for, but um, I really wanted it. It's a very fast paced type of unit and you're kind of like, we were considered an emergency room overflow, but definitely not as critical. Like we were considered med surge level when I first started. Um, when I left, we were more PCU, so progressive care unit type of stuff. Um, 
Oh God, I graduated nursing school back in, I have it on the clock, Whew, 2019. So I'm coming up on three years, no, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22. Three years of being a nurse now? Yeah, um, three years of being a nurse now. In April, it'll be, no, August, August 1st. Sorry, I'm getting my mind confused. It's been four years that I've been with the company almost. I was almost a nursing assistant for two years. It was a year and a half, I think a little bit over. But um, coming up on three years? Yeah, three years of being a, an RN, but I've been with the company for four. Hold on. My dog's doing something he shouldn't be. He took my fiance's shoe. He loves the shoe. And it's only the one shoe. It's always the right shoe. He won't ever take the left. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I'm everywhere in this video as far as telling you, like, who I am. But, um, <laughs> this is my cat, Levi. He's great. Um, fabulous cat. <laughs> um, anyway, he loves pets and hanging out with me. Um, but yeah, so I'm coming up here on my three years of being a nurse in August. I passed my NCLEX in September and started my job in October is a October of 2019. I started as an inpatient RN. Um, like I said, I worked on a cardiac observation unit or cardiac um, decision unit also is what it was called. Um, we specialized in being the chest pain center of our hospital. So it was basically like um, we would get patients that would come in with, we had a lot of chest pain, obviously we were the chest pain center, but, um, stroke rule outs and a lot of abdominal pain. Um, those were our main ones. Um, for chest pain, like if you were assigned to chest pain nurse that day, you were, um, winding and grinding patients in and out. They would go get echoes stress tests if the stress tests and echoes were normal you'd get discharged home you would try to get them out i believe our quota was trying to get them out within 18 hours of admission so that's from ed to our unit and out in 18 hours um and if their stress test was abnormal or if the echo showed like heart failure or valvular issues um you would be admitted have a heart cath done and you would end up transferring to a different unit because ours was such a short-term unit. Um, so I ended up doing that for a little over a year. Obviously COVID hit in 2020. I had finished my precepting with my, not my clinical instructor, <laughs> my main preceptor, um, first week of January, second week I was on my own, COVID hit in March. <laughs> um, so a lot of my nursing career so far has been very COVID oriented and it's kind of sad to think because I feel like if COVID didn't hit, I would still be an inpatient nurse. Um, spoiler, I'm not an inpatient nurse anymore. Um, another reason why I want to start my channel to advocate for any new grad nurses out there or even seasoned nurses or nurses that are, you know, midway through their lives that you don't have to stay impatient. You need to do what makes you happy and care about what you like is best for you. Um, so anyway, sorry, a little rant. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like I would still be an impatient nurse if COVID didn't hit, but sadly that was the reality of the time. Working with COVID patients, our unit had changed from strictly chest pain center. Um, we would do stroke rule outs, like I said, in abdominal pain to having COVID patients all the time, taking anything and everything just to keep our unit open because our unit had shut down. Well, fast forward to December of 2020. Yeah. Right? Yeah. December of 2020. I ended up leaving my inpatient job and getting an outpatient job at um within the same company that I was for an inpatient nurse. Um ended up doing he's so cute. Ended up doing an outpatient job um with the cardiology office here in my local town and um I definitely love it and the office actually specializes in cardiology. 
type of stuff and I work with one of the most well-known top electrophysiologists in Central Florida. He is my doctor and I work with him. We are a great team um, and I, we also have a medical assistant that's great as well and our team just vibes so well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. Lots of things. I actually just hit my year back December 20. December 20th, 2021 was one year with the outpatient clinic that I'm in now with my cardiologist and it's definitely been way different than inpatient. It was a big learning curve, but I'm here for it. So I want to try to show you guys as much as I can um, of the outpatient clinic setting because that's also something I wanted to bring to YouTube. I feel like a lot of YouTube videos nowadays are geared towards inpatient nurses and what they have to offer. Well, I'm putting a twist on it and showing you what we have to offer as outpatient nurses and what our jobs entail. So definitely a day in the life videos will be coming out, week in the life videos, whatever I can film and shoot, of course, have to obey by HIPAA. And, you know, not a lot of people are comfortable with being in videos, so we'll make it work though. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I want to take this channel. I want to show you guys and just take you along with my life. You guys want to continue with me onto my journey through life as a outpatient registered nurse slash showing you the dark twist of life slash just hanging out. Um, if you like this video, subscribe, um, give it a thumbs up, like I said, um, and I have another video already planned for a day in the life to kind of just give you guys an idea of what I do. So I will see you guys in the next one. Someday.